Hey guys, the globe here and thanks for watching my video and today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a 3D text on 3ds Max So basically we'll open up the program and as you can see here once you open up the program You have four different kinds of viewports You have the left top front and of course the perspective view which is the main one So in this tutorial I'm gonna be clicking the top one and on the right panel here click on the create tab and then click on shapes now you'll have your different kind of settings and you know menus so click on the text here so we're gonna create a text right now yep once you're done with that um, click on this uh, maximize viewport toggle button which is in the lower right corner and you'll see your viewport will be maximized so once it's maximized just click on the screen and we will just move it by pressing W on your keyboard or you can use this button here the select and move button so move it until you fix the position of your text now go to the modifier this modify button here and you'll find here a text box edit the text box by clicking it and you know just deleting the text and typing whatever you want I'm gonna be typing stick globe and of course we can resize with this setting here you know drag the arrows down or up once you resize you can also you know stick the letters together if it's too far or too near you just set it whatever you want leave this leading alone okay you can also change the font you know I'm gonna be changing into I think anything here you know, Calibri okay as you can see your font has been changed to Calibri once you're done with that click again this lower right corner which is the maximize viewport toggle to bring back your original viewports and we're gonna be uh, editing this text because it doesn't look like 3d so we're gonna be editing it now we'll make this text 3d by going to the modifier list and we'll have two options you choose either one of them I'm gonna be showing both we have the first option which is extrude okay once you click on the extrude our text will be um, solid and you can also increase the 3d amount you know when you increase the amount here yeah the 3d will just increase gradually once you increase yours so that's basics now there's another way um, go to the modifier list and hit on B level which is also another easy way you find here menus uh, down here or anything click on the B level values and you will find here three levels we're actually gonna mine the first level so the first level we are increasing the height and of course the outline to make it I I uh, was this either thinner or thicker yeah once you go down your text will be thinner you can observe that once you go up your text will be thicker yeah just like that so once you're done with that you know just change the setting mess up a little bit and once you're done with that we have our text created you know just like yes you can and once you've done that click on render and or our text will be in 3d well it doesn't look 3d to me so I'm gonna just like put on the side here yeah now our text is on 3d you know and if you're not satisfied with that you can always increase the height and then render again and you can see it's really on 3d now this doesn't look nice so we're gonna make it you know stylish we're gonna stylize this text here so what we're basically gonna do we're gonna create a plane you know just zoom out from your viewport and hit on the create tab and click on geometry click on the plane and just drag until you have fully occupied your text big enough you know and you can change the color to whatever you want now I'm gonna change the color which is not exactly the same make it dark brown yeah and once you're done with that click on the select tool here and then click on the plane go to the modifier and then the modifier list click on bend you know we're gonna bend it a little bit now you know just here on the bend axis which is x axis the angle increase it a little bit yeah just make it like a curve and hit on limit effect now don't worry about this you can always change it and the limit effect once you have checked it 
on the upper limit set the value to 500 hit enter and now as you can see our text will be uh, viewed easily select the text hit on W to move it just like go up yeah and we're gonna be rotating it so to rotate it hit on E on your keyboard and just to change the viewports and I'm gonna hit gonna be hitting the snap tool so it, it'll be exactly you, you know what I mean by that is that when for example when I want to rotate it to exactly 90 degrees it will be rotating that easily you know no hardships wait a sec okay one sec yep now rotate this to 90 degrees once you're done with that rotate it again to 90 degrees which will be in front of us and that is pretty much so easy okay once you're done with that um this doesn't look enough it's not nice so what we're gonna be doing here is we will choose the select tool here and remove the snap toggle you know no snappings so click it again first click on the plane okay once you're done with that go to the modifier yes and the upper limit will just again increase it just to make it like sleeping no you know like lying down and then choose the select tool and then choose your text position it now once you're done with that I'm just gonna be you know, for a sec yes once you're done with that select again the plane we're gonna set it now once you select, select the plane it doesn't look like a curve so we're gonna make it curve by selecting the plane here set the width to about let's see width segments increase it to make it you know curvish go up um, more okay now you can see that it looks curvy now if we want to view it that looks nice hit on render and that's pretty much a little bit stylized you know not I don't want to make a plain text it doesn't look that nice and once you're done with that we're gonna be adding some effects wait a sec yeah and i will showing you within the next video on how, how to add effects on this um background here for your text so stay out with me and click on the video in the description for the part two of this project and i will be showing you how to customize your text and of course your background by adding some effects so stay tuned and thanks for watching this video so don't forget to please uh, Rate, comment, and subscribe and check out my next video. And of course, check my channel. So thanks for watching and see you in part 2.